This country, under this APC regime, came to become the poverty capital of the world. It became the place where the minimum wage became the miserable wage for workers. But if you think about Nigeria itself, uh, it's an open prison. before the air crash. Pius actually had an auto accident last year and he almost died. He didn't die from the impact but he almost died of negligence. He was bleeding and there was nobody to help him stop the bleeding because there were no doctors in the hospital where he was taken after he was rescued. There were no nurses there was no medicine in sight. That was the first attempt on Pius' life. And when he was returning from that episode, I was in Nigeria running for office, and he called me, as he usually would say, he said, Shemure, I don't know what you people are still doing here. Me, I'm done with Nigeria. I am leaving. I said, let me meet you at the airport. He said, I cannot even wait for you to meet me at the airport. I want to go to the other side of the airport that has nothing to do with Nigeria. That is the departure lounge. I eventually did meet him. But you know, Miles, the moment he got killed of the injury from the auto accident, he started thinking about Nigeria again. He started working out, working for Africa. Until the very end, Miles he loves Africa, he loves Nigeria, and he loves people. Let me share something with you guys today, and I will end. I am not here to say something that you haven't heard. Two weeks before the presidential election, Pius called me. He was driving as usual, and uh, he said, Shore, I want to talk to you. Where are you? I said, I'm in Abuja. I'm trying to become president. He said, are you still hoping that something can change in Nigeria? I said, of course, that's why I want to be president. He then said to me, I don't think these people will let you be president. Too. How about we start planning for 2023? I said to Fires, you know the work we do now, me and you. We are in the business of offending powerful people. Are you sure? that you and I can live up to 2023. That was what I told him. And as usual, this That was how I spoke to him. He said he would call me back. He never did it today. But something happened that would make every one of you standing here proud of Pius and the life he lived. Even his worst enemies, Bowed to him in death. You know, I like naming names. Somebody went to his memorial last week in Abuja. Guess who? Bukola Saraki. I can tell you between Bukola Saraki and Dino Melai, the assassination of Miles was across their mind several times based on his writing. My own assassination, I'm sure they signed up on it several times. <laughs> but we're just here on borrowed time. And that alone was the biggest consolation I had from his death. That when powerful people die, when great minds die, even their worst enemies will bow before them. And I just have to tell Pius, wherever you may be, because I'm sure you are probably somewhere laughing at us. Laughing at us that we are crying. Because it's exactly how you wanted to live. You wrote about it, you talked about it, you joked about it, that you will live in a grandiose land. Pius is living at a time that even the aircraft that killed Pius. Nigeria, they use computer. The leaders of Nigeria, they use radio where they turn the knob.